Hi, welcome to Life Artists. I'm Barbara Joubet, and this is the place to embody your creativity. You were taught focus for one purpose only, to control you. Now, how about we take it back? How about we focus and learn how to create the state of focus that you want, what feels good to you and allows you creative success? Check it out. So this week is all about recovering the focus, how you want to experience it. So welcome back to our three-part exploration into focus. In this week's video, we're going to get practical and we're going to start describing embodied states of focus, learn how to create high performance states and maintain those elusive and wished for flow states. So what is embodied focus? Now, number one, focus involves high states of relaxed energy. Now, by relaxed, I don't mean chilling comatose on the couch. This is low energy, okay? True states of focus or flow states must engage full energy, movement, and experiencing all of your senses, all of your body within space. Now, what that means is it means literally practice, yeah, to connect with your surrounding, practice to connect with your senses. Agree to movement, relax, effort, and breathe. Now, number two, focus is not happening in your head alone, okay? Focus is not here. <laughs> Expand to include all, all of your senses. We tend to focus with our head, our eyes, and sometimes our ears. And especially when we're trying to concentrate, as we talked about last week, we try to shut out our senses, okay? But remember, focus relies on our nervous system. And realize that 10% of our entire nervous system is up here, 10%. The rest, the 90% of that great focusing system is throughout our entire body, yeah? Most of our interaction and social behavior is sensory and physical, okay? We feel each other far more than we mind each other. Huh? We know from our bodies if someone is angry, if they're threatened or if they're upset, right? Or the opposite. We know through the same bodily focus yeah, what we feel about another person and experience our body language and our expressions. Now, it, we still tend to judge yeah, success and focus by how we use our mind. And we practice ignoring our physical states. Now, shift and expand your attention to include your whole body. Use all of your senses. Start feeling into life and watch how your focus expands and becomes super easy to maintain. Now, number three, focus is a movement. Now, focus is movement, guys. Nothing, 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 nothing is still. So if you're trying to concentrate, yeah, by holding still, not going to work. So start moving. If you wish to create high states of focus, wouldn't it make sense to involve not just your eyes and your face, yeah? Using a fraction of all of your potential focus, but instead to widen your attention and really include your whole body. If you do so, this allows you to broaden into those relaxed, energetic states of attention. And the movement of focus from this kind of pinpoint becomes expansive into possibilities. Now, when we focus from our head alone, particularly our eyes, we contract and narrow our perceptive field. And as you will see in today's training, this really doesn't lead us to focus. Instead, it leads us to have tension, contraction, and wasted energy, and a state for which the, the body perceives and experiences as super unpleasant and even dangerous. Think about really all that neck pain. Think about those tension headaches, guys. Focusing like this? <laughs> so practice allowing and creating movement, really, Create movement, little movements, while trying to focus. Notice how the movement of, is of your breath, of your body. And practice relaxing these little postures, the areas that are contracting, yeah? Let go of the fixation in your eyes. Look around. I mean, just little moments. Zoom out sometimes and check in, in really into your environment. Where are you? Let your senses listen for a minute. Let, you, let, you, let your eyes just see something wider for a second, okay? And number four. Physically create the experience you desire. What that means is describe the feeling and the state that you want while in focus. 
Okay, we say we want focus, but what is that? Do I want spaciousness? Do I want quiet? Do I want excitement and a lot of flow? If I say I want less distractions, what does that mean? What does it mean here in my body physically? Okay? Now, while you're doing that, really explore. Explore physically. How is this desired focus created and expressed in my body? Now, use times when you've naturally felt that, when you've naturally didn't done that. We all know times that we've been quiet and focused. Okay? Imagine that. Close your eyes and just feel that for a minute, and your body will already start to embody that state. Okay? Your body knows how to be this far more than your mind. So, your training has just taught you that you're not able to focus. So rebel and regain your natural focus ability. Be attentive to the states when you are full of energy, when you're interested, when you're curious, when you're excited, and then train to recreate these states of embodiment. Recreate them in your sensory experience. Recreate, how do I breathe? How do I relax? How do I move when I'm in a wide state of focus? And number five, we don't have a focusing problem. We do not have a focusing problem. Our body is 100% focus. Think about it. When you are experiencing pleasure, when you're full of curiosity, you don't have a focusing problem, right? It's most often when we're doing something intense or frightening or boring or challenging, you know, the uh, Most often places when we start to contract, right? These are the places that we start to get distracted. But what if you were able to create a state in which your body felt well, energized? And what if you mirrored these states and experiences in which focus were really not the problem? Okay? If you think about it, what if you were, instead of contracting around all those things, relaxing? That's what I'm talking about. Now, this is definitely in your power to create. And in my opinion, this is true focus. States in the mind and the emotions in the body that just feel good, that capture our interest, and in which we're energized, playful, curious, and involved, you know? My belief is that you create physically this state even in times when you're challenged or if you're fearful. If you create the states ah, where you breathe, where your whole body is engaged, yeah? Then this fear and this excitement will actually be a ton of energy to use to focus. Now, that's what I'm talking about when we're talking about whole body focus. It's the act of enjoying being surrounded by everything that is. So now let's practice this as a physical experience. Join us for the training. Welcome to today's training. We are talking about how we are driven to distraction by our focus and we're going to train really to notice how we're narrowing our focus with our mobiles and our little computer screens and we're going to train to widen that back out again so that we can really perceive that we're three-dimensional and that we're part of everything around us. So let's get started. What we're going to do is we're going to just start, spread your legs a little bit wide. You're going to bring your hands up and go down onto your Tippy toes, breathing in while you go up, breathe out while you go down. And it's just a very kind of simple rocking movement or getting a little bit of energy going. If you get off balance, it's just fine. Do breathe into your chest. Let your mouth open. You can stop, relax, and now bring your hands to your chest. What we're going to do is we're going to breathe out, just letting your head relax, your chest down. Breathe in. You're going to open your hand to the sides, and head goes back. Allow your knees to relax. Allow your jaw to open, and you want to feel this gentle stretch or movement in your chest, your head, and your neck.
And a stand. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take our fingertips and you're going to pinch them in front of your body. Really squeeze them in front of your low belly. While you're doing that, you're going to breathe out and really scrunch your eyes, your face, your mouth, your forehead. Okay? When you breathe in, you're going to open your hands wide and let your head go back while opening and closing, opening your eyes wide and your face wide. Okay? Here we go. And it's a really gentle movement when you're opening. Ah, you're not stretching, you're just opening. What we're playing with through all this training is moving our perspective from narrow and contracted to wide and relaxed and open. You can notice while you're doing this with your face and your fingers, probably your vagina, your anus will also contract. It's what we're doing when we're contracting our focus. And now relax, take a deep breath. Mm. The next exercise is you're going to put your fingers right into that little space at the back of your head and you're going to really with some nice good pressure, you're going to pull along the bones at the back of the head. Now while you do that, you're going to breathe out, but open your eyes and your mouth a little bit. And then while you breathe in, close them. Breathe out. Now what you're doing is really just getting the back of the, where the eyes attach. And while you're doing that, you're opening your eyes wide and then returning to the middle, letting your eyes and your face just relax closed. Keep going. And now relax, take a breath. And now just imagine that you're on your smartphone, your mobile phone, or you're looking at your laptop or your computer. And I want you to just put yourself into that position. Feel your working environment, feel how you are, and just feel what starts to happen in your body. Feel where there's efforts. Feel where things start to become stiff. And while you're doing that, I want you to accentuate all this kind of positioning in your body a little bit more. Make it all these efforts a little bit more. It's like turning up the volume on this kind of contraction thing. And just feel this kind of movement, these kind of repetitions. And now relax them. Breathe full. Let your body move a little bit and now start to tap your eyes. Mm, the bones around your face, all or along your forehead, just give them a little tap lightly. You can also tap your eyeballs and press. You can rub your eyes, stretch them. Ah. And be sure and breathe while you're doing this. And now grab your ears, ah, and stretch them. Ah, breathe, and notice, ah, rub all around. It feels very wonderful, yeah? Stretch and massage around the ears, the back, mm. Ah, and now take a breath. 
<sighs> Excellent. Now I want you to take your fingers and put them on your clavicle. That's this, bo this bone that goes across here. And I want you to find this space where your neck and your clavicle meet. And what, you're, what we're going to do is we're going to breathe out and raise our shoulders and lower our head. And what should happen is your fingers should go into the little space here. Okay? And then we're going to breathe in and all you're doing is keeping your fingers quite inside there and raising up your... And then take a deep, deep full breath. You're getting a very gentle, but strong, nice, good pull on these bones. <sighs> and again, raise your shoulders up. Your head goes down and bring your hands into that space behind these bones. Raise up your head. And breathe in and out. And now relax your hands. Ooh, and breathe. And now bring your hands behind your head. And you're just going to twist while breathing. And now bring your hands. You're going to face them the same direction while moving that direction. Turn them while moving the other direction. And really feel the air around your body moving. <sighs> feel this gentle stretch in your spine. Breathe and then relax. Okay, now we're going to raise up again and lower. Okay, and while we do it, we're not going up on our knees, on our toes, we're going down, looking down, looking up, looking down. And do really look. We're widening the perspective of our eyes again. Now stand, breathe. Oh, and now we're going to step forward and backwards. Forward and backwards. Right foot forward, right foot backwards. Oh, breathing in while you go up with your arms. Oh, and now stand again. And now the left leg, forward with the left leg and feel this movement in space, forward and backward. <sighs> Let your shoulders relax. <sighs> and now stand, take a breath. And now turn your head to the left and look <laughs> your left or right, whichever, it's fine. And really look while you turn, really look and let your eyes be wide. Look behind you, look be in front of you. Breathe while you do this. Look around, look up. Gentle movements with your neck and head. Look down. I notice that there's a very wide space around your whole head and body. Oh, and now return and just close your eyes. Feel your body. And while you do this, just notice all the space in front of you, behind you, to the sides of you, above you, below you. And now open and let your eyes just defocus and perceive all the space around you. 
Let your eyes be wide as a whole body. Let your focus and your perspective. <sighs> While you do so, let your head and your neck relax. And just notice that this 10 minute training really gave you a very quick and short capacity to spread out your focus again. Yeah? When we're getting stuck in our narrow focus, we also get really stuck and narrow in our perspectives for our life. And we're training really to open our perspectives wider just so that we can have whole body focus. Now, continue with the rest of this video where we do implementation and a collective we think and looking forward to seeing you there. So how are you now? now? Feel free to use any part of this physical training whenever you wish to zoom out, yeah? whenever actually you wish to create whole body focus. And pay attention to the physical state that you're creating when you are becoming rigid and trying to you know, focus with your head and your eyes and see what happens yeah. if you actively change your physical state, if you start to raise your energy, if you relax all those rigid patterns in your body and actually allow movement. Enter into the practice of focus. Practice and create these states and see what it creates in your ability to focus. Now, if you wanna dive deeper into your practice, check out the implementation questions below. And they're great questions to get you thinking and make sure while you're implementing to stay physical. And now I wanna hear from you. Every week here at Life Artists, we do what I call a we think, which means we share with each other we get collectively rethinking this subject. So this week I wanna ask you, and I want you to talk to us about how do you experience yourself when you're energetic, enjoying, curious, and exploring life? What new ideas, situations, people, and predominantly creations do you meet while you're in these states of focus? And secondly, how did shifting your attention to your creative experience shift your level of focus? How did being physical allow you to do what you're wishing for? And how do you plan on implementing this training into your daily life? So, get in on the conversation, jump on over to Life Artists Community Blog and join our community. Get involved, guys. Share your truth. We need each other. Support really, really our creative growth. Creativity for me is all about collectively shifting something. So, talk to each other. Let's do a collective we think. Now, if you love what I'm doing, which I certainly hope you do, share this with others, comment. You're welcome to contact me. I love hearing from you. Sign up for my YouTube page and find out more about everything I'm doing. And if you're seriously, seriously wanting to change something, make sure that you join us at the live events, the Conscious Creator Workshops. They rock. A whole bunch of creators getting together and training together. Super fun. And... Sign up for the newsletter and I'll get you all the information that you need for that. Thank you so, so much for joining me in all of this. And remember, you are the creator and your experience is truly in your hands. <laughs>